everybody. It's Jen in my basement again. Welcome to New Express. Let me just make sure we are live. Okay, awesome. So let's find a spot where we are comfortable and let's take a couple minutes for ourselves. Well, we're taking a half hour for ourselves, let's be honest. But let's take an extra minute or two at the beginning to make sure we are nice and detached from anything else that's going on. It will still be there when we finish. So let me grab my water <clears throat> and let's sit. So just a uh, um, housekeeping statement. Hopefully all goes well and my surgery or my um, carpal tunnel release um, procedure, whatever you'd like to call it, um, is supposed to be this coming Friday. Um, I hope we'll be getting confirmation and time in a couple days um, because I do it super late for some reason. Um, so I have pre-recorded a bunch of the Thursday classes um, because those are pre-recorded anyway. So those are good to go. We ha I have, I'm all good with those until Thanksgiving at this point. So we're all good to go for those. For the um, live classes, um, I'm not sure what my feelings are going to be on physically how I'm feeling on Tuesday of next week. I will definitely still have stitches in my hand for sure. So I think I'm probably going to do a chair class that day. Um, if there's anything that you're looking for in particular, obviously let me know. But if a chair class is not for you, totally get it. Um, you can just check back one of the other um, hundreds of videos that we have going on. Um, but I will probably be doing a chair class the first week and then um, once I get my stitches out, we'll kind of get back into the hands um, hands on the ground type of thing, but it'll be a little bit of a slow transition. So if you have wrist issues or are going through a similar thing, obviously join me in this recovery process, um, but that's kind of where my physical body will be going um, in the next couple weeks for sure. So <clears throat> hopefully you're feeling good to go now. So let's lift the one arm up and let's look up to our ceiling. And then switched out. So it's a very much of a, a of a mind paradox. It's in that at this exact moment in time, everything feels great because I had my cortisone injection and I'm I'm recovering fine. But I know that's that's a short term fix. So I want a long term fix. So I'm gonna have to go through the pain, um, short term to get to the long term, and release. Let's twist. As compared to something like, you fall down the stairs, I'm just so horribly unfortunate, and you tweak your wrist and you have a surgery or something to fix it because it's already busted into a million pieces. Um, so, and push out. And really, so I'm sitting, uh, sitting up, um, I can either be how I am now or cross-legged. If you're lying down, please sit yourself up or even in a chair here. And let's bring this hand behind the head and I'll, actually I'm gonna turn that way so you can get a little <laughs> We're going to, Come on in like a little ball and come on out. Pull those shoulders back. Look up. We're going to do that a few more times. We're going to come in, tuck in, and then come out. Tuck in and come out. Let's do two more. Tuck in and out and tuck in. And out. Beautiful. Now I'm going to remove my little block. I'm going to tuck those toes under and I'm going to come into a downward dog. And my hood's going to go over my face. I just know it. <clears throat> I'm going to pedal those feet. And then I'm going to find some stillness. Really working on straightening those arms for sure. Their knees do not have to be in a straight line. They can be bent. And I highly even suggest maybe we step the feet about mat width apart and we really push back a little bit more and a little bit more room to breathe and grow in this position with those legs nice and wide. And then we're going to drop down to our knees. And we're going to push back with those toes tucked under. We're going to come back to tabletop. We're going to lift up and we're going to push back. And we're going to come forward. We're going to bend those knees and drop and push back. There goes my hood. 
tabletop, come up, push back, then lean forward, knees down, push back, those feet, we're going to do one more, come up, tabletop, and our dog, and then walk those feet to meet the hands, and then roll on up, nice and slow, beautiful. Let's take one foot facing the sidewall, one foot facing the front wall, and just lean on in. Hands can be on the hips. And then take the front arm and push it in front. And let's just lean it forward. And then lean it back. Let's switch arms, back arm. Let's lean it back. and then come back in. One more time, arm out, lean it forward. Can you get a little bit farther forward this time? And come back, and let's do the back arm. We push back a little bit farther. Oh, there we go. And release. All right, I would like you to take that torso, I'd like you to rotate it forward. Bring those hands across the chest, and then just lean down kind of in this open space. We're not laying on top of the thigh, we're lying kind of in this pelvic hole here with a nice flat back. And then we're gonna come up, we're gonna take those hands behind our back. We're gonna come back down again. and then come up and then bring those arms up overhead and come down. This one's a little harder, flat back. Use that core, come on up and drop those hands, bring those feet in front and just come to mountain high breath. All right, shake it out. Let's do that same thing on the other side. So we have this leg facing that wall, this leg facing that wall. All right, so let's just go lean on in first. All right, let's bring that front arm forward. Lean on. Back arm, lean it on back. And then come in. Other arm, can we go a little farther? And release. And other one. that torso <clears throat> and let's come into this open hole right here let's bring the hands across the chest first lean it on down flat back and come on up and let's put those hands on the hips And then arms overhead, harder one, in my opinion. Lean it on in. Use that torso all the way up. And then bring those feet in and come back to our mountain. This time I'd like you to turn your head to one side.
Come through center and turn that head to the other side. And then come through center. All right, so we're gonna do a tree here um, to the best of your ability. Do what you can. That um, I don't want you to hold on for balance necessarily, but if you'd like to just do your tree in this position here, that's totally fine. We're going to do two 30 second holds on each side. And remember those arms are going to be wherever they need to be for a counterbalance for you. So yes, there's perfect postures when you look at pictures and things like that. Um, but the perfect posture for you today is not that picture. It's what you need to do to be able to be in that pose, hold it and feel confident and in control in that pose. So yours is gonna look different than mine. Yours is going to look different than mine. Blech. Okay. So just if you've never done tree before, we're gonna, this is the, the highest po um, pose you can be in as far as the foot tree. Um, and you have that foot pushing into the thigh and the thigh pushing into the foot. Obviously, you're not gonna hold on. <laughs> hold on, um, depending on what you're wearing, how slippery your legs are, things like that, things will change. Just as a reminder, you're not putting that foot up against that knee, even though it fits so beautifully there. We're not doing that because you're not pushing sideways on the knee. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so find the position, find the pose, I always start with the one that I think might be the hardest side as far as my balance goes. Sometimes that proves me wrong, but I at least can always then potentially go up from there. But all right, so let's see what works today. Let's see what's gonna what my body is deciding is gonna do today. All right, so three, two, one, and hold. Ooh. Find a spot, look down at it. And then slowly release, shake it on out. Always setting yourself up for success in any position your pause or posture you're doing um, in yoga and group fitness in life. If you know that it's going to be harder for you to balance on this surface versus this surface, go to that surface. You don't have to be heroes here in yoga class. <clears throat> just your just a hero for yourself. Just some, doing something that's going to make you feel good. That's what we want. All right, next stalling, other side. And let's begin. Two and one, release, shake it out, grab some water if you want it. And we're going to take what we learned from your particular situation and try it again on the other side. <clears throat> All right, shake it out and let's bring that leg up. Two and one release. And notice that I don't just, just flop that leg down. I actively set it down. When you go into a pose with the control, you want to come out of a pose with control to the best of your ability. All right, last one, and we'll make our way back down to the ground. Bring that leg up. And let's 
understand. Let's come to the front end of our mat. Let's bring those arms back behind it from back. Bend back as far as you're comfortable and swan dive it down. Bring those hands to the ground. Bring one foot back, bring the other foot back. Come to plank. Hold it here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And then lower nice and slow all the way down, bring that head to the ground on the hands, and I want you to just roll those glutes back and forth. All right, I want you to bend those knees. I want the heels to touch, I want the toes out. I want you to squeeze those glutes and lift them off the floor just a little bit. I want you, once you started and seen one or two, put that head right back down to the ground nice neutral neck. So we're just going to lift it up and back down. So little tiny movements. We're going to go for 10. Ready? Let's go for one. Really. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. Now we're going to squeeze and then straighten those legs. So we're going to squeeze up. We're going to kick it down, come up, and squeeze. All right, so 10 of those. Put that head back, base back down. Let's squeeze up, down, straighten, come back up. Feet stay in the same position. Two, down, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and release. Push yourself through tabletop. All right, so what I want you to do here is we're going to be at a nice, nice table here. I'm going to lift my right arm up overhead, and then come back down. I want to bend my right knee, and I want you to drop that knee, drop that foot behind you, and then lift up. So it's kind of like a wild thing, but more of a, a grounded version. Bring that hand back down, and bring that knee back in, and release. If you know a full wild thing and you would like to go into it for this next round, feel free. Otherwise, you can just stay here with us, no worries. We're gonna go again. This time, I'm going to see you potentially if I can straighten this bottom leg. Um, kind of put it by a little play here, um, but otherwise, you can just come right back to the position that we just were. All right, so let's bend that right knee. Let's come out. I'm gonna straighten that bottom leg. And we're just gonna bring that arm up. And breathe. One more breath. Let's bring that arm down and rotate back in and relax. I'm going to physically turn the other way because I don't have enough room on that side to go in that direction, but we're going to do the other side. All right, so I'm here and I'm going to take my left arm and lift it up and then come back down. I'm going to take the left knee, I'm going to lift it up. Rotate it around, put that foot on the ground, then take that left arm and lift it on up. 
for a more rounded version. And then come back in with that hand, and then come back in with that foot and knee, and then decide what you would like to do to try to match as much as you can on side A versus side B for our second and final attempt. All right, let's lift that leg up. And let's bend it on over, put that foot on the ground. I'm gonna straighten my other leg, and I'm going to lift up and hold. that hand and that leg and the other leg. Doing that pose was just purely out of just straight up, I have to do it today because I know I'm not going to be able to do it next week or probably the week after or probably the week after that. All right, let's lay on our backs if you want to grab some water really quick. This is the time. All right, we're getting close to the end of class. Let's cross one leg over the other, drop it to one side. I'm going to have my hands over my head or in a cactus or field goal shape and twist. And let's release, come back to center. I'm gonna keep this arm so they are gonna cross the other leg over and twist. All right, I'm gonna release those legs. I'm gonna bring one knee out to one side, one knee out to the other side. Bring those hands over my belly button. And I'm just gonna make a little, a little shape with my belly button right in the middle. Take five nice, big, deep breaths. Physically feel them, your hands lift. One more. All right, release, bring those hands to the outside of the thighs, bring those knees in. I would like you to bring one knee in, the other leg out, doesn't matter which one. I want you to do some circles here at the hip. I want you to switch directions. I would like you to do the same thing with that ankle. One direction. The other direction. And then release. Other side, same thing. Bring that knee in, give it a big squeeze. Have it in a circle. And then switch directions. And that ankle. And we switch directions. All right, straighten those legs. We're gonna do two minutes in Shavasana here, and then we're going to spin it off and do a couple more stretches. But since we're here, we're just gonna stay here. Let's spend two minutes together and probably sneeze. <laughs>
I'm going to move Wigobo's fingers, I'm going to move Wigobo's toes, and I'm going to roll like a ball ten times to sit up. If you don't want to, it's totally fine, don't worry about it. But I enjoy rolling like a ball, <clears throat> so that's what I feel like I'm going to do. But you can sit up another way if you so desire. I'm going to roll, and back. Getting a nice thigh massage. Two more. And then I'm going to sit up. I'm going to hug those knees in. I'm going to drop the head one more time. I'm going to lift the head up. I'm going to drop those knees one to each side. I'm going to give a little bit of love to my feet, to my arches, to the balls of my feet. Give it a couple, a couple second massage. If there's a spot that you find that you like to kind of hang out with, give a little extra love to. That's fine. Otherwise, then we're going to grab those toes and we're going to lean it forward. I'm really going to stretch out those inner thighs a little bit more. No more breaths. And then release, roll it up. Bring those knees together. Let's twist one more time. And release. All right, we are good to go. As I said, next week will probably be a chair um, yoga session. If you'd like to join, wonderful. If not, take advantage of one of the other wonderful offerings that we have for you, both live and recorded. And if you have gone through a purple sauna release and they're like, girl, you need to go and buy this beforehand or have this snack on hand or whatever, or like make sure you don't think the mistake I did, let me know. I'd love to hear it. I mean, I think I've done a little bit of research, but um, the more knowledge, the better. And uh, I'll see you later.